and it's a pleasure being here for Borea, who's a very dear friend, like he said. I'm always in awe of how he can speak so many words all together without saying um or ah, uh, even for a second. So, um, yeah, thanks for having me here. Sanya Mirza happened, uh, it, it, I mean, she didn't happen overnight. She happened uh, over a period of many, many years, many, many hours. And honestly, there was never really a moment where we just sat and said, okay, from today we're going to become a professional tennis player. It was a journey that we were on as a family and uh, against a lot of odds, obviously, against us at that point where there was absolutely zero belief in the fact that Sanya Mirza or a Sanya Mirza could happen at that point. And um, that's how we uh, sort of took pride in every small achievement that happened, whether that was an under 10 state title or whether that was a club match or whether that was an under 14 state um, win. And uh, yeah, and then over time, we just sort of realized that maybe she's actually good at what she's doing. And uh, yeah, and then we kind of took it more seriously when I was about 12 or 13. Nikhat, similar story, I mean, very similar backgrounds and same city. Can you tell my audience, and this is about storytelling, when, when you first took to boxing and your mother, that whole story about your mother, and now she sort of screams mar mar at every time you fight, but that same story, Nikhat Zareen becoming a boxer when your father took you to that little training academy in Hyderabad, Nikhat Zareen. Firstly, good afternoon to everyone, and uh, I would like to wish happy birthday to Borya sir. Today is birthday. And uh, yeah, uh, so basically I started boxing in 2009. I come from a small uh, district called Nizamabad. So there, you know, uh, I was into athletics and uh, as there were no proper stadiums and tracks, so I used to go along with my dad. And my dad used to help me see my timings and all that. And uh, there I have seen uh, girls in every sport except boxing. So uh, I casually I asked my father, Papa, boxing bus ladki kar sakte kya ladkiya nahi. Then my father replied, Nahi beta, boxing ladkiya bhi kar sakti hai, but hamari society mein logon ko lagta hai ki ladkiyo mein itna dumb nahi hai aise sport take up karne. So then I said, Arey Papa, fir mai karke dikhaunga and I'll uh, prove everyone wrong that no girls can also do boxing. And uh, I'm the first girl to start boxing in Nizambad district. And I remember I had my first sparring session with a guy. So he hit me very hard. So my eyes started to get out of my neck. And I uh, got a lot of bruises. And I went like this at home. And when my mom saw me in that situation, she started crying. And I, she, she told me, Beta, I didn't put you in boxing because your face is bad. If something happens to you, then I said, Are you have tension? Kai ko lere naam hoga to dulo ki line lag jayegi. And abhi, if I get any bruises or any hurt, wo bas bolte ki koi baat nahi, beta ice laga lo, thik ho jayega. So, matlab, matlab it feels nice to see ki meri mummy ki soch kahan se kahan badli hai. So that's my story. Ki starting me log bolte the ki you know, ladki hai. Short what pen I love me in our community, mein. but my father always stood beside me and he always fought with others. And I joke just because of my parents. Sanya, there are many mothers in this audience. Many mothers. I mean, again, you've defied every every time society has asked you a question, trolls have asked you a question, you've given it back. I mean, 26 kilos you shed after motherhood, and, and we all followed you. Each one felt inspired, man, woman. Can you tell us that story? I mean, to come back after motherhood and then Izan there in Australian Open, coming to the stadium, making a Grand Slam final in your last Grand Slam, Sanya Mirza. I think that uh, for me, one of my motivations, I won't say the only motivation, but a very big part of my comeback uh, after, you know, I was, I was so big when I uh, got pregnant, I was like breathing and putting on weight. I don't know how many people can actually relate to this over here, more awesome. mothers, but like literally I was like, my God, I put on 20, four kilos or 23 kilos or something and uh, I'm sitting there tw 20 kilos overweight and I think Borea had also met me at that point when I was quite overweight and, and I said yeah I'm gonna make a comeback and I think everybody thought I was a fool they were like seriously and I'm sitting there 20 kilos overweight and I'm like yeah I'm gonna make a comeback and I'm gonna play at the best uh, you know the biggest stage again and um, one of the reasons for that was obviously my personal um, my personal interest in doing it but also 
the fact that I think we come from um, a large majority of society where they believe that once you become a mother, your life always almost ends and it's all about the child. Like everything, everything is about the child. Everything is about not giving that self-love to yourself. And I think that it's very important to realize that becoming a mother is, is a, a brand new life. It's not the end of a life. And um, I think that if, it, if I inspired even one mother, a young mother, to do what she loved after she had a kid, if I inspired one mother to love herself for that one hour a day or two hours a day and do something for herself because we are, all the mothers here will understand that our priority becomes kids and we almost forget ourselves in the process, especially in the initial years of, of being a mom. So I think that for me, making that comeback was to try to, you know, inspire as many women as possible.